Domaine Carneros is the ideal location for growing grapes for sparkling wine. Chardonnay and Pinot Noir need a cool climate. The Carneros had the perfect climate and the right terroir as well. Claude Tatinger in the early 50s as a young man came to visit Northern California and fell in love with the wonderful verdant vines that he saw in this area and put a thought in his mind that someday he would build a great winery in this location. Champagne Tatinger purchased in the mid-1930s a beautiful old chateau in the Champagne region called the Marquetry. And when Claude Tatinger came to building Domaine Carneros, or what was becoming Domaine Carneros, he used the Marquetry as the model for the winery that would be built. The origins of Method Traditionnel go back to the beginning of Champagne itself. One of the hallmarks of a finely made bottle of traditional method sparkling wine is the fine bead of bubbles. The, the process is having the fermentation take place in the bottle with the carbon dioxide, one of the byproducts of fermentation trapped in the bottle. It goes into the wine and when you open your bottle, you have bubbles. Here at Domain Carneros, we have the luxury of owning 400 acres, which is spread over six non-contiguous ranches, and we're sitting right on top of the San Pablo Bay. And it's really this proximity to the bay where the fog penetrates in, and also the breeze that comes all the way from the Pacific and comes through the Petaluma Wind Gap is really critical for cooling off the grapes at night. And this helps to preserve the acidity which is a really critical component for both the sparkling and the still wines. We're hand picking at night to retain the acidity and keep the grapes cool. We add some yeast and liqueur and the fermentation occurs in the bottle. It will age for a minimum of three years. One of the big challenges of the traditional method is then removing the yeast and the sediment from the bottle. The invention of the Giro palette really helped optimize this process and this, this really helps the quality of the wine as well. With more than 30 years of sustainability as one of our core values, we see our responsibility to not only maintain but improve upon the Carneros land around us. One of the main principles we have focused on is the use of renewable energy. In 2003, we built one of the largest solar arrays of any winery in the world. And right now, we are expanding on our commitment to solar energy by building a microgrid. Years ago, we launched a packaging reuse program at Domain Carneros. Simply by training our staff to work with the packaging, we've been able to reuse over a million case boxes through this program. Another area of focus is our water use. Not only do we have a complex system that collects all of the rainfall on our property, but we also recycle all of the water that we use in the process of making wine and are able to use that for vineyard irrigation. The Tattinger family was early to recognize what has become true over the past 50 years, that Carneros held the perfect terroir for a world-class sparkling wine. Eileen Crane, our founding winemaker, further shaped that vision by focusing on estate-grown grapes, which gives us great knowledge of and control over our fruit and our impact on vineyard sustainability. We have a very clear vision of who we are and who we want to be, and our core values are tied into that vision. That's everything from sustainability to diversity to providing the most amazing experience for our guests and making the most delicious and well-crafted wines. We use those guiding principles to lead everything we do moving forward. You'll see that there is a lot of dynamic energy here at Domain Carneros, all of which builds upon our foundation of creating memorable sparkling wine experiences.